We might not hear from NASA for a while very soon. The renowned Space Exploration Association has just shut down the Mars rovers, responsible for observing unusual activities and making discoveries on Mars. Why? Because something utterly terrifying has emerged, and scientists are finding it hard to explain what it is. It'd be so exciting to wake up in the morning and think that that's, that's what's happening. The scariest part is that the rover has solid proof of the strange thing it captured in pictures during one of its missions. What did it find, and could this scary discovery be in any way related to the strange stone circles similar to Earth's Stonehenge that were found on Mars? In this period when life originated on Earth, Mars was pretty similar. Join us as we explore why NASA suddenly shut down the Mars rover and what else they've found besides the recent discovery. On Mars, there's a special robot from Earth called NASA's Perseverance rover. This rover is part of a major project by NASA named Mars 2020. It is also the reason that NASA found something that made them shut it down. Perseverance was launched into space on July 30th, 2020. Mars is a planet that is believed to have had water and been habitable a long time ago. So the rover was created to confirm this is true. The rover landed in a place called Jezero Crater on February 18th, 2021. This spot used to be a lake billions of years ago making it a great place to search for clues about past life. The mission of this rover is one of NASA's top priorities. The rover studying the rocks and weather on Mars, helping us learn more about the planet and getting us ready to send humans there one day. But the most interesting part of its mission is searching for signs of life that might have existed long ago. So of course, the Jezero Crater with its remnants of an old river is the perfect place to look. And instead, here we are, 14 years later, after 28 miles of travel, and today we get to celebrate the end of this mission. Perseverance isn't on this quest alone. It's equipped with various scientific instruments, including cameras, environmental study tools, a weather station, and even a small helicopter named Ingenuity that assists in exploration. The rover also collects and stores samples of rocks and soil. These samples are like pieces of a puzzle that reveals Mars history. Eventually, future missions will return these samples to Earth for detailed study by scientists. This makes it the first time such a mission has been carried out in space. Did you hear about the first mission when it launched? As Perseverance explores Mars, it encounters many tough challenges. Mars has a thin atmosphere, extreme cold, and frequent dust storms. The fine dust can even get into the rover's parts and cause problems. Despite these obstacles, Perseverance continued its mission and sent back incredible pictures and valuable information. But recently, there's been speculation that NASA might stop the Mars mission due to the rover discovering something unexpected or confidential. That the parachute has deployed and we are seeing significant deceleration in the velocity. Our current velocity is 440 meters per second at an altitude of about 12 kilometers from the surface of Mars. This discovery could reveal information that wasn't intended for public knowledge. There's more to it, but first, let's get into the mysteries of the ancient stone circles and what they've got to do with the whole Mars saga. Stonehenge and similar ancient stone circles have always fascinated us. These towering stone structures silently beckon us to ponder the past. For centuries, curious minds from scientists to regular people have thought about their mysteries. Questions like, how were these massive stones moved and arranged? Why were they built? Can they provide information about the people who created them long ago? What do you think? Stonehenge in particular is quite interesting. Its massive stones arranged in a circle make it a symbol of ancient mysteries. People from around the globe visit it often, making us wonder how life in ancient times was. Over the years, many theories have emerged. Some believe Stonehenge was the site for religious rituals or ceremonies. Some people think Stonehenge might have been a really old calendar, making the seasons or tracking the sun and moon. But no one is sure why or how it got built. This mystery makes Stonehenge even more fascinating. Surprisingly, it seems Stonehenge isn't the only place with those strange stone setups. 
scientists have found something similar on Mars called the Mars Henge. This discovery has caught the attention of both scientists and space fans. Using high-tech cameras on satellites orbiting Mars, scientists spotted several rocks arranged in a circle on a big hill. It looks a lot like the stone circles on Earth. Finding the Mars Henge gives us more to think about when it comes to understanding Mars. Mars is a tough place with a rough environment and not much going on, so finding something like this is pretty shocking. It adds to the mystery of whether there could have been life on Mars at some point. This circle of stones found on Mars, along with other pyramid-like structures seen before, makes us wonder about Mars' past. Could they be what's left of an old Martian society? Thinking that Mars might have once had smart beings, even if they're gone now, makes space exploration even more thrilling. Finding these structures suggests that there might have been life on Mars at some point. This leads to more questions about what this life was like, what it could do, and what happened to it. Scientists want to find more clues to solve these mysteries. What will we discover about Mars and the chance for life in future trips? We'll have to wait and see. As technology gets better and we learn more, we might be close to finding amazing things. From old rocks to exploring the stars, let's check out life on the International Space Station in the endless darkness of space. What is life aboard the nighttime ISS like? And how does nighttime in space relate to NASA's recent discovery? Just imagine living in a spot where you could see the sun come up and go down not once, but 16 times within a day. That's the everyday life of astronauts aboard the International Space Station. Life in space, especially on the ISS, is totally different from what we're used to on Earth. The ISS is both a living space and a workspace for seven astronauts, as well as a place for scientific research. It zooms around our planet at a very fast speed. The ISS travels around Earth at a staggering rate of five miles every second. Because of this incredible speed, the station completes a full lap around our planet about every 90 minutes. As a result, astronauts witness the sun rising and setting a total of 16 times during one day. This speedy cycle drastically changes the way time feels, making days and nights seem much shorter for those aboard the ISS. When night falls on the ISS, it's a whole new experience compared to what we're used to on Earth. The darkness in space is incredibly deep, much deeper than the darkest night we might encounter on Earth's surface. Inside the station, with only minimal lighting, it can get very dark once the sun disappears. This darkness, combined with the silence and vastness of space, creates an atmosphere that feels like something straight out of a thrilling science fiction movie. The absence of natural light sources and the overwhelming darkness can make the ISS seem remote and far from the familiar sights of Earth. On the ISS, astronauts have to adjust to the quick changes between day and night. They carefully plan their work, sleep, and daily routines to cope with the odd timing of days and nights in space. Despite the difficulties, crew members find ways to make the space station feel cozy, bringing personal stuff, photos, and little comforts from Earth. Nighttime on the ISS isn't just dark and tough to adapt to, it also brings stunning moments. When the station flies over the night side of Earth, astronauts see amazing views of brightly lit cities below, lightning storms lighting up the clouds, and the beautiful auroras at the poles. These sights stand out against the dark space around them and remind everyone of Earth's beauty and how delicate it is. Living on the ISS gives astronauts a special view of Earth and our position in the universe. Now, something really strange has happened, and scientists are still trying to find answers to it. You see, the NASA Curiosity rover has made a weird discovery on Mars. Among the many pictures sent from Mars showing its rocky land, one photo stood out. It looked like there was a door carved into a cliff on Mars. 
It was surprising because it seemed like something from ancient ruins on Earth, not on Mars millions of miles away. This doorway on Mars is interesting. It's different from other shapes made by nature on Mars, which are usually rounded and not so precise. This discovery made everyone wonder, could it be evidence of smart life on Mars? Even though most scientists are careful and say it might just be a natural thing, the idea of a civilization on Mars is exciting. This doorway makes us wonder about Mars history and if it could have had life. If there was a real door or any sign of life on Mars, it would be a big deal. It would change how we see the universe and make us think we're not alone. Even if this door is just a natural thing, the thought that it could have been something more makes us want to explore Mars more. The NASA Curiosity rover touched down on the unfamiliar Martian grounds for the first time in late 2012. The Curiosity rover had a big job to explore Mars, gather data, and unlock its secrets. Over time, it sent loads of useful info back to Earth, slowly revealing what Mars is all about. One of its coolest finds is hints that water might have flowed on Mars in the past, hinting that maybe life could have existed there too. This idea is super exciting and makes us wonder even more about life beyond our planet. But Curiosity's journey hasn't just been about confirming what we already knew. It has come across some weird discoveries on Mars that even the most intelligent scientists find strange. One mystery surfaced a few years into its mission. While Curiosity was busy studying methane in the Martian air, its fancy cameras caught something strange, a bright quick flash far away. This odd light got everyone talking and wondering, was it just a trick of light like the sun bouncing off a rock? Some say maybe, but this light's features make it seem like there's more to it. People noticed how intense and different it looked compared to the rest of Mars. Some even think its shape doesn't match what you'd expect from a single reflection. These clues have sparked ideas that maybe this light could be a sign of something very unusual and usual to human scientific research. Could this sparkle seen by curiosity mean something new on Mars? People are asking guesses, from shiny minerals or ice making the flash to more exciting ideas like aliens. That last one makes us wonder about meeting aliens or finding old Martian cities. This small light leads to big questions about Mars, like how it works and what it used to be like. Scientists have to think outside the box to understand Mars better. And getting answers to most of our questions about Mars, we hope our galaxy will meet another in the sky. Venturing deeper into space and away from Mars for a while, there are more discoveries. There is a life cycle of a galaxy that seems to be a new window into the universe like we've never seen before. The advanced technology and powerful precise lenses of James Webb Space Telescope allow us to see the cosmos with great clarity and detail that we once could only imagine. One thing the JWST observed is NGC 628, also called the Phantom Galaxy. It's about 32 million light years away from us and looks super cool in the pictures taken by JWST's special camera that sees it in mid-infrared. The phantom galaxy looks like a fiery bird rising from the ashes, kind of like the myth of the phoenix. This comparison makes sense because galaxies like NGC 628 are where stars are born and they go through a cycle of birth and death like the phoenix. When stars die, they leave behind residue that makes new stars, just like how the phoenix rises again. The Phantom Galaxy's pictures from JWST make it look like a swirling fire in space, making us wonder what's inside. Inside NGC 628, there could be billions of stars, each with its own planets. Some of these planets might have conditions good enough for life, or they might have light forms we've never seen before. In the center of the galaxy, there could even be a huge black hole, which could affect how the galaxy grows and changes over time. We're not done yet. Space exploration can sometimes be a dangerous adventure, with astronauts often risking their lives to make their dreams of exploring the great unknown come true. From no air, no pressure, and crazy temperatures, outer space could be a nightmare. 
Take Bruce McCandless, for example, a NASA astronaut from the 1980s. He did something extremely daring and scary, a spacewalk without any safety ropes, just using a jetpack. In a famous picture, he's all alone in the vast darkness of space, a strong reminder of how risky space travel can be. If something went wrong, he could have drifted away with no way back. Astronauts are known to train for years, learning to survive in a weightless environment, operate their suits, and perform many necessary tasks, all while ensuring they remember that the emptiness outside their visor is merciless. How about we step out of outer space at nighttime and into the future? We've recently had a glimpse of the future, and it just might not be what you've always thought. That brings us to the question, what really is in the future? In space, there are two groups of stars, our Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy. They move slowly towards each other in the wide universe. This shows how strong forces in space can change how galaxies look over a long time. Astronomers say these galaxies will merge in the future. But don't worry, it won't happen for another 4 billion years. Space works on a much bigger time scale than we're used to, so it'll take millions of years for the merger to happen. NASA and astronomers have given us a glimpse of this far-off future. They've used simulations and models to predict what the night sky will look like as Andromeda gets closer to the Milky Way. First, picture yourself far from city lights, where you can see lots of stars, planets, and the Milky Way's band of stars. The more we explore, the more we are in awe of the mysteries it holds. Now, imagine another galaxy, Andromeda, appearing in the sky, getting bigger and clearer over the centuries. It'll be an incredible sight, full of beauty and wonder. You can almost see it, right? As the two galaxies come together, the night sky will look different. Stars from Andromeda will merge with those from the Milky Way, making a beautiful mix of light and pulling stars, planets, and other things into new paths. Even though this collision is happening, stars crashing into each other directly is rare because they are so far apart. After everything mixes, a new galaxy will form, sometimes called Milcomeda or Milky Dromeda. It's the result of billions of years of gravity doing its thing, showing how the universe always changes. During this process, our solar system, including Earth, might move into a new spot in the new galaxy, but we're expected to be okay, like a speck staying strong through it all, watching a new part of the universe story unfold. From this big cosmic event, we move on to a dying star, spreading life's building blocks across space. In the future of outer space, there's also a final whisper of a star. Sounds weird, but it's an actual thing. Deep within the vast expanse of space lies a star unlike any other, just a mere 400 light years away from our home planet Earth. This star, known as C.W. Leonis, holds a special place in the cosmos, as it belongs to a rare category known as carbon stars. What sets C.W. Leonis apart is not just its proximity to us, but also its current stage of existence. At present, C.W. Leonis is in the twilight of its life a phase that could span many years, even centuries. As C.W. Leonis approaches the end of its stellar journey, it undergoes a remarkable transformation. It begins to shed its outer layers, releasing them into the cosmic void. This process creates bright orange-red clouds that stretch across space like the delicate threads of a spider's web. These clouds are composed of carbon dust and soot, forming patterns that mesmerize observers. Honestly, the beauty of this phenomenon is more than what we see. It is proof of the ongoing cycle of creation and destruction in the universe. By shedding its layers, C.W. Leonis contributes to the cosmic recycling process, where matter is continuously transformed and redistributed. For a long time, Scientists have wondered about where all the carbon in our solar system came from. They think that maybe when old stars die, they release carbon that later becomes important for life on Earth. Could stars like C.W. Leonis be the ones who made life possible on our planet by giving us the stuff we needed to exist? Thinking about how stars die and come back to life opens up some really interesting ideas of how life works in the whole universe. When stars like C.W. Leonis die, 
they don't just disappear. Instead, they release carbon into space, which becomes part of the matter floating around out there, called the interstellar medium. This stuff is what new stars, planets, and maybe even life forms are made from. So when a star dies, it's like making rooms for new things to start. It's like setting the stage for life to happen somewhere else in the universe. Just think about all the new worlds that could come from the leftovers of stars like C.W. Leonis. As this carbon-rich dust settles in the new solar systems, it could be the very key to life starting on planets that haven't even been born yet. So when a star dies, it's not really the end. It's more like the beginning of a new chapter where life might start somewhere else. It shows us how everything in the universe is connected. By studying the signals we get from space, scientists hope to find out more about these mysteries and learn more about what's out there beyond our planet. That aside, did you know there have been sounds in space coming from nowhere and nothing in particular? For the past decade, Earth's radio telescopes have been listening closely to the vast expanse of space, picking up signals from distant corners of our galaxy and beyond. These signals, which we can't see with our eyes but can hear through radio waves, often reveal fascinating stories of cosmic happenings, stars exploding in supernovas, black holes gobbling up matter, and neutron stars swirling with energy. But among these cosmic messages, some don't follow the usual patterns we expect. A few of these signals have confused astronomers worldwide because they repeat in ways that defy easy explanations. Unlike one-time bursts caused by singular massive events, these repeating signals suggest a phenomenon that doesn't fit into our current scientific theories. Another latest discovery in this ongoing cosmic exploration is a fast radio burst coming from the direction of the M81 galaxy. This galaxy is nearly 12 million light years away, making this FRB the closest one we've detected so far. It's like the mystery is inviting us to pay attention and reveal its secrets. Do you think we should? Believed to come from a dense group of stars in our galaxy, this signal holds the promise of discoveries. Scientists wonder what's causing these powerful emissions in such star clusters. These clusters, filled with ancient stars close together, act like time machines from the universe's early days. They're places where strong gravity and star interactions are common. Could the answer from these fast radio bursts be obtained from how these clusters form and exist? Maybe stars crashing or joining together are causing the signals. Or perhaps there's a new space object or event we haven't seen before. The mystery of these signals goes beyond just science. It brings astronomers worldwide together in search of answers. Do you think it's a good idea for NASA to shut down the river because of what they discovered? Let us know in the comments. If you've enjoyed watching, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with everyone.